In this question, we want to find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by y equals x cubed, y equals 8, and y axis. So y axis means x equals 0 about the y axis. Okay. Let's find the region bounded by these three curves. So here we go. So y equals x cubed. This is the curve y equals x cubed and y equals 8 y axis which is x equals 0 so we have this region and we want to rotate this about y axis and when we rotate about y axis we get this solid and this is sample slice of a small thickness delta y in this case okay delta y delta y suggests our graphs our equations should be written in terms of y so our functions the graphs should be written in terms of y so x equals function of y okay because we are writing the integral in terms of y because of this thickness delta y and when we rotate this slice it becomes a sample cross-section disk here the disk okay, let me draw slightly better we have a disk and this becomes radius and this part is the radius of the disk and that should be written in terms of function of y so y equals x cubed is this graph now we need to change this x equals some function of y so y equals x cubed is same as when we take cube root both sides cube root then x equals cube root of y so this length this radius is cube root of y and area of this disk is pi radius e square pi r e square and we integrate that area and volume will be that area now in terms of y from where to where this slice could be taken anywhere from 0 to all the way 8 so 0 to 8 okay let's do it so we want to find the reason bounded by these graphs so you can always graph just sketch the rough region so y equals x cube you can use your calculator just going this way and okay passes through the origin y equals x cubed y equals 8 let's say this is 8 so y equals 8 and x axis this sorry y axis this is y axis x axis so basically this region now we want to rotate about y axis so rotate about y axis so we take a sample slice here of a small thickness this thickness is delta y that suggests all the graphs should be written in terms of x equals uh, the function should be written in terms of x equals some function of y and y equals x cube is same as x equals take cube root both sides cube root of y and this slice when we rotate becomes a disk of thickness delta y and this is the radius because this is the sample point x comma y and this is x this is y so this is x x is same as cube root of y and area of this disk now it will be in terms of y pi r squared so cube root of y squared which is pi y raised to one third squared so y raised to two thirds so this is the area of this disk which has thickness delta y in any case the volume is now given by this area a y dy and this slice could be taken anywhere from 0 to 8 this is 8 so 0 to 8 which is 0 to 8 area is given by pi radius is squared so in in this case y raised to 2 thirds dy 
and let's find this integral pi is constant we can pull outside now we have antiderivative of y raised to two thirds so using power rule it becomes y raised to two thirds plus one five thirds divided by five thirds and we go from 0 to 8 okay now pi times uh, pi is outside so evaluate this function at 8 and at 0 upper limit minus lower limit lower limit is 0 so everything becomes 0 so pi times and then this 5 thirds becomes when we take to the front 3 fifths pi so this becomes 3 fifths pi and when we plug in 8, 8 raised to 5 thirds. You can use your calculator. In fact, 8 is, uh, so it becomes, let me write over here, 8 raised to 5 thirds. 8 is 2 thirds times 5 thirds. 3, 3 cancel, 2 raised to 5, 32. So you can use your calculator. It gives you 32. So 30, 3 fifths pi times 32 which is 32 times 3 96 fifths 96 fifths by cubic units final 